Hey guys, Alberto Rio here. Just getting back from the gym this morning. My little uh, little golf cart here. Little monster tires. Love this thing. That's my car. People always ask, "What do I drive?" I drive. Uh, there's my. That's what I drive right there. So. I've been getting asked a lot about a $10,000 physical I just took four days ago. You know, what, what happened? What did you learn? Um, there is such a thing. It's called an executive physical. Right, here's my favorite thing about my house. Second favorite thing behind the ocean. So it's called an executive physical, and I learned about it through Damon John. Damon John is the Shark Tank guy, right? FUBU originator. Guy uh, does about $400 million a year. And so I learned about it. Um, the same way he did. You know, he was told by a buddy, he's like, hey man, you should take this thing. It's called an executive physical. It's $10,000. It's not covered by insurance, and, but you can afford it. You should take it. And he goes, no, man, I'm good. I, uh, I just got checked out by my general practitioner. Remember this, general practitioner. This is one of the things that I learned. So I just got checked out by my general practitioner. I'm gonna turn on my steam room here. I have a steam every morning. Holmes, there we go. There we go. I'll be ready here in a, in a few seconds. Um, and let me take off my, my socks here. So he learned about this $10,000 physical. He's like, man, I just got checked out by my general practitioner. I go to him every single year. He says, I'm good, I'm healthy. Um, and, but his buddy's like, dude, you should really check it out. So he does. And he, they find this little ball in his neck and the ball ends up being cancerous. So this $10,000 physical saved Damon John's life. Now he, he really recommends it, he, he has it in his book, uh, Rise and Grind, you should get a great book, great book. And one of the things that he talks about there is that the regular physical would have caught it four or five years later. It was cancerous, four or five years later, and by then, it would have killed him. So it saved his life. So, you know, I learned a few things. Number one is that we, we have a responsibility. In today's world, we live in an economic planet where we have to do the best we can so we can give the best health care, education, and everything to our family. Now, I learned a couple things specifically. Now, this is my favorite thing about uh, the house. And so one of the things that I learned was about being a specialist. Now, Damon John was seen by his general practitioner. He's the best general practitioner in New York City. That's where he's from. But he wasn't able to catch it. Now, when I, I went to go get that physical, Sarah got it also as well just a few days ago, I got seen by 13 specialists, 13 specialists in one day. I mean, started with a cardiologist and an internal person and a hematologist, which is a blood person, and uh, what else, an orthopedic and a... Uh, he, what, what else? Uh, oncologist is a cancer person. Proctologist. Well, I'll never forget the proctologist. I wish I could. But uh, anyway, plumbing is all good. Everything is all good. But 13 specialists, one after the other. These guys are the best of the best of the best. It was the Mayo Clinic, by the way. And so Mayo Clinic is considered to be one of the best, if not the best hospitals in the world. They don't have general practitioners checking out. And a general practitioner, a very good one, missed Damon John's tumor. So what does that have to do with insurance? Well, in the last few weeks, we've had two insurance guys join our group, earning over a million a year, over a million a year. Guess what they had in common? They were specialists. One guy only works with executives from the top four accounting firms, you know, uh, Deloitte and uh, Pricewaterhouse and so forth. The other guy only with uh, real estate developers. That guy, by the way, made almost $6 million last year, almost $6 million. They're specialists. And they say, Alberto, it's a lot easier to be a specialist. I only have to worry about the problems of my developer guys. And I know them backwards and forwards. Nobody can compete with me. While everybody else is trying to figure out how to help a 24-year-old and how to help a 75-year-old, I just focus on this one guy. I'm the very best, makes my life easier. And guess what, guys? It's a lot more enjoyable. Now, you're probably thinking, well, I have no idea what I should specialize in or what my, my niche should be. Well, we have a scientific process, been around for over 50 years, used by NASA, that brings out what you're good at. Brings out what you're good at, what you should specialize in. And here's the best part is that, as humans, we love what we're good at, right? We don't like stuff we're not good at, but we love what we're good at. So not only do you work more effectively, you love what you do because you're good at it, and that's how you get clients chasing you. These guys are like, man, I have too many clients chasing me. I'm known as the guy for the real estate. I'm known as the guy for the accounting firms. 
So that's number one that I learned, okay? You gotta be a specialist. They make all the money, the cardiologists and so forth, they're making all the money. And so are the insurance guys that specialize. Number two is you have to have a system and process in place. All the big companies have this. And for this hospital to be able to see us, 13 specialists in one day, showed up at 7 a.m. by 3.30, we're done, 13 specialists. I mean, I don't know how they did it. Everybody knew our name. Mr. Real, we're ready for you. Mr. Real, we'd, I'd sit down for 30 seconds. Mr. Real, we're ready for you, next test. So not only did the clinic have a system and a process where they knew exactly what came next, they didn't have to make any decisions. It was all pre-decided. The doctors had a process and a system as well. Right? The cardiologist is like, okay, I'm gonna put these little things on your chest, it's gonna feel kind of cold. Now you're gonna get on this treadmill and we're gonna look at these graphs here and then we're gonna, I mean, a system, a system. He knew exactly what he had to do. He didn't have to decide a thousand times. What should I do? What, I mean, could you imagine if he would have been like, well, uh, what should we do? I, th I think I'm gonna listen to your heart for a little bit and maybe, I don't know, we'll, we'll just kind of wing it. How about we wing it, is that good? I'd be like, oh, oh holy shit, I, I gotta get out of here. No way, man, you're just gonna wing it. So why are most insurance guys winging their business, right? Every Monday or every first of the month, like, okay, um, I think I'll do some follow-ups. No, 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 maybe I'll, I'll call my book and see if I can cross-sell. And maybe then I'll, I'll do, uh, oh yeah, that one market. And maybe I'll go to that networking event at lunch. Yeah, yeah, maybe I'll do that. Most insurance agents, guys, are winging it. So here's what we have. We have a system in place designed to help agents increase life insurance sales, period. That's all I do. That's my specialty. We have from State Farm guys and Allstate and farmers and all those guys, they come to us for one reason. I need to get my life insurance sales up. We even have the Northwestern Mutual guys and the Mass Mutual and Prudential and New York Life and all those guys as well and all the IMOs and FMOs, even the PHPs and the WFGs, but they come to us for one reason. I need my life insurance sales up. And we have a process for that, a system just like these cardiologists, just like the Mayo Clinic, where we choose a target what do you want to get to? 50,000 a month consistently, 20,000 a month consistently. We have guys at 100,000 a month consistently. Okay, that's the target. Let's reverse engineer so everything is pre-decided. There's no guesswork. There's no decision making, which is very uh, stressful and very tiring. Everything is pre-decided. We do a couple clicks of the button and there we go towards our goal with my help, somebody who has done it before. This is so good, I'm so confident in it that I guarantee the results in writing. I guarantee sales, actual sales, not leads. I don't care about leads. We've all bought crappy leads. Anybody can guarantee that. Not appointments, even that, you know, those don't pay the bills, but actual life insurance sales funded. I guarantee them, I guarantee them. That's how good we are. Now, because I guarantee it in writing, I can't help everybody. I mean, let's face it. We've all been to meetings to where like, uh, that guy's not gonna make it in the business very long, right? I can't help everybody. But if you're one of those that is good at what you do, you just need more qualified people coming to you that actually want what you have, I can probably help you. Now there's a link right there at the bottom, click on it now. I'm gonna ask you for just a little bit more information, a little bit more information, know a little bit about you, and, and then you'll be able to get to my calendar and schedule a call in the next 24 or 48 hours. Now what's great is that we'll get to know you a little bit better to make sure that we can guarantee results. If you're in, we guarantee your life insurance sales will soar. Now again, we can't help everybody. Also, write down all your questions. You'll get a chance on this uh, free, no obligation call to ask us as many questions so you can find out more about our process as well. Hopefully we can help you out. And the only thing that I ask is at the end, when we do help your life insurance business go through the roof, you send me documented results, just like I have over 300 documented results from clients just in the last year, guys. I'd love to show you. So click on the link right now, give us a little bit more information, schedule your call. You got nothing to lose, and we will see you here, hopefully in my secret group in the next couple of days.